Have you ever wondered how different the seasons on Pluto are compared to those on Earth? As it turns out, Pluto's seasons are an enigma, a puzzle wrapped in the icy fabric of the cosmos. Unlike our home planet, which tilts at a moderate 23 and a half degrees, Pluto spins on its side at an extreme tilt of about 122 degrees. Imagine a globe spinning not on its base, but on its side, and you have an idea of Pluto's unique orientation. This unusual rotation on its axis leads to extreme seasonal variations on Pluto. Picture this. During its solstices, the longest and shortest days of the year, a quarter of Pluto's surface is bathed in continuous sunlight, a never-ending day. On the flip side, another quarter of the planet plunges into an eternal night, a never-ending darkness. It's as if the planet is playing a cosmic version of hide-and-seek with the sun, showing and hiding different parts of itself as it dances around its star. As we delve further into the peculiarities of Pluto's seasons, we discover that these aren't just day and night variations, but rather a play of light and dark on a grand scale. The sun, a blazing beacon of light and life on Earth, is reduced to a mere point in the sky, a small dim star struggling to pierce the Plutonian darkness. The sunlight is almost 2,000 times dimmer on Pluto than it is on Earth, making the sun appear 1 30th as big and nearly 900 times less bright than we are used to seeing. Yet it would still be much brighter than a full moon, casting a surreal glow on the icy landscape. So you see, a Plutonian year offers a very different experience from what we are used to on Earth. It's a world where seasons aren't just a change in weather, but a shift in the very fabric of day and night. A testament to the endless diversity and wonder of our universe. Now imagine looking up at the sky from Pluto, what would you see? Pluto's sky offers a spectacle unlike anything we're used to here on Earth. The most striking difference would be our sun, that familiar celestial body that dominates our daytime sky. From Pluto, the sun would appear considerably different. Instead of the familiar blazing orb we're so used to, the sun would be a mere point of light in the Plutonian sky, similar to how we perceive Venus from Earth. This is primarily because Pluto is nearly 40 times further away from the sun than Earth is. So, how bright would this sun point be? Not very, it turns out. Sunlight is almost 2,000 times dimmer on Pluto than it is on Earth. Yes, you heard it right, 2,000 times dimmer. This means that even at midday, the landscape would be bathed in a weak twilight-like glow, akin to the light we see here on Earth during a very late dusk or a very early dawn. But don't let these numbers fool you. The sun, as seen from Pluto, would still be quite a sight. Despite being 1 30th as big, it would still be 1 900th as bright as it is on Earth. To put it in perspective, that's much brighter than a full moon on a clear night here on Earth. In fact, the sun would be the brightest object in Pluto's sky, outshining all the stars and other celestial bodies. It would be a constant gleaming point of light against the vast cosmic backdrop, a beacon in the Plutonian sky. However, while the Plutonian sun might dazzle the eyes, it would do little to warm the surface. With temperatures dropping to minus 225 degrees Celsius, it might not feel as warm as our earthly sun, but it would certainly put on a show. So the sun from Pluto would still outshine our brightest night, even though it might not feel as warm. Let's recap the fascinating details about Pluto's rotation and its effects on its seasons. This distant dwarf planet, nestled away in the outer reaches of our solar system, spins on its side. This unique axial tilt is what gives rise to its extreme seasonal variations. When we refer to the seasons of Pluto, we are talking about a whole different level of extreme. At its solstices, a quarter of its surface is bathed in perpetual daylight, while another quarter is shrouded in ceaseless darkness. Imagine a world where the sun never sets or never rises for years on end. This isn't a scene from a science fiction novel, but the reality of Pluto's long, peculiar seasons. The sun, from Pluto's perspective, is a far cry from the familiar sight we are accustomed to here on Earth. Sunlight is almost 2,000 times dimmer on Pluto than it is on our home planet. If you were standing on Pluto's surface, the sun would appear as a tiny point in the sky, 1 30th the size and 1 900th the brightness of what we see on Earth. Despite this, it would still outshine a full moon, illuminating the Plutonian landscape with its distant, dim glow. The extreme tilt of Pluto, its long peculiar seasons and its dim distant sun 
all combine to create a world that is vastly different from our own. They contribute to an environment that is as fascinating as it is alien, an environment that continues to captivate scientists and space enthusiasts alike. So while Pluto's seasons might be extreme and its sunlight dim, it's these unique characteristics that make this dwarf planet an intriguing object of study. The more we learn about Pluto, the more fascinating it becomes. This distant, icy world spinning on its side captivates our imagination and stirs our curiosity. Its extreme tilt leading to drastic seasonal variations is unlike anything we see on our own planet. Imagine a place where a quarter of the surface basks in permanent daylight at one time, while another quarter slips into a long, unending night. And then there's its faint sun, a small point of light in the sky, almost 2,000 times dimmer than what we experience here on Earth. Yet, despite its faintness, it outshines a full moon, illuminating the Plutonian landscape in an ethereal glow. These unique characteristics make Pluto a captivating subject, a celestial enigma that astronomers and space enthusiasts find irresistibly alluring. Each revelation about this distant dwarf planet opens up new questions, sparking endless exploration and study. Indeed, the mysteries of Pluto remind us that there's so much more to discover in the vast cosmos beyond our own planet.